so what I'm going to demonstrate here is what we call the three cut method for pruning trees. Now this particular tree I plan on cutting down and removing anyway. It's a honey locust and you can see all the thorns, but I'm going to show you maybe if you had some storm damaged trees in your yard or if you had maybe some tr limbs that were a little low and hitting your lawnmower or tractor or something that you needed to trim, but it was on a wanted tree. Now certainly survey the tree and make sure that largely it's still a very healthy tree because if you're cutting off some of those healthy branches on a damaged tree or a diseased tree, that could ultimately be something that does it in. So with the three cut method, what we're going to first do with either a chainsaw or a pole saw or any hand saw is we're going to make a small cut under the branch. And this is far away from where the crest of this is. We're going to do it probably five or six inches out. This is not a terribly large branch, but you can still have them splinter. The reason we do that undercut is so that it doesn't peel bark with it down the trunk of the tree, thus having an open wound that diseases could happen. So let's show you. So we're going to make that first cut under it, right there. Then we're going to go forward and make our second cut farther down. In that instance, it didn't try to splinter off, but we've cut off the heavier part of the branch, and then we're going to finish it off closer to the crest of this. And there you have it, the three cut method. So what we are trying to prevent is where the or is how the bark would strip down and go following down the tree that all that's going to do is open up wounds and possibly be a vector for disease or fungus or something else to get in the tree if we come over here and we did the three cut method we have a clean cut we don't have any part of it where it broke down and broke the tree and stripped bark it's a nice clean cut and there should be enough to heal there you don't need to treat this with anything it should heal very well on its own for more details on tree trimming and other research-based information, visit our website at extension.okstate.edu and click the search bar in the top right-hand corner. Follow K County OSU Extension on social media to keep up to date on upcoming events, educational information, and research-based information. Thank you for watching.